what is up kings and queens happy thursday on this day we will be doing a on this day in black history january edition where we run through the month and i let you guys in on some little known facts about history black history let's go january 1st on this day in 1863 president lincoln issued the emancipation proclamation this looked to just be the framework to freedom because even though there were over five million enslaved people in the country this only applied to the three million of them living within the rebellion states if you were residing in places like missouri delaware maryland and kentucky you still had a long way to fight though you must give him his props in reality this was just a wartime propaganda because during this time, over 200,000 black, blacks enlisted in the army. Most, if not all, were former enslaved people. Where else would they go? He... Mm, but what we can say, that this was a big step for not only black people, but for humankind as a whole. To not say that we are equal, but to say that we are thence, henceforth, free. January 5th, also known as George Washington Carver Day was passed on this day in 1943 in honor of him. He is also known as the first African American to have a day as well as a national park named after him. Here's a few little known facts about George Washington Carver. One, he was one of the most predominant black men in the US. He also advised Gandhi. Two, he did not invent the peanut. He did not invent peanut butter, but he has over 100 recorded recipes for the peanuts. Three, he was the first Black African American, again to have a national park named after him, visited in Missouri. Hey hey. And four, he tripped down a flight of steps at 78 years old. He was buried next to Booker T. Washington on Tuskegee grounds. Bringing us up into the more recent history, we have January 20th, today, 2009 and 2017, when my president, Barack Obama, was inaugurated into office. He was the first African American president. Now, I'm going to wind this down with a little bit of historical tea for you all because it came out publicly and Obama backed it up that he is the 11th grandson of John Bunch, who is in the record as to being the first enslaved black man of the 13 colonies. Let that sink in, let that sink in. Because in 1863, Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves. Freeing the bunches, freeing Obama's people, freeing our people, and in 2009, John Bunch's 11th grandson on his mother's side, this is his mother, check, check, fact check me if you feel, became the President of the United States. And in 2022, we can say that we have come literally from slavery to literally the White House. Thank you all so much for joining me on our first On This Day in Black History event. 
please be sure to share, like, comment, and subscribe. Peace, love, and positive vibes, y'all. Deuces. I'm <laughs> sorry.